Okay, so let's try opening this thing. It says the instructions are on the inside label, or rather the inside part of the label. Let's just get this plastic off first. There. There we go. Can you guess why I actually picked this out? Yes, it's because of this. Look at him, so adorable. He has a little collar and the little earring. Oh, he's so cute. Look at this little guy. Okay, let's pick this out. All right, and let's see the instructions. Said it should be on the inside label, so oh, here we are. Uh, hmm. put all ingredients into the aluminum lunchbox. Heating package, maximum fill line, cold water. Put the heating package underneath. Wait to enjoy. All right. Hmm. So it requires water. I didn't know that. I thought it was just, you know. Oh. Okay, so it comes with water. I think. Okay. Hmm. So there's water. There's a spoon. And here's the rest. Okay, so I'm thinking this water probably isn't. Oh, there's even more ingredients inside. There's the seasoning, I think. And I think this is more ingredients. And there's a heating packet. Okay. Okay, okay so you put it there. Alright. But like is this water for for heating or like for food? I don't know. Okay, so this is definitely ingredients. Hmm. Hmm. Cold water. Mm -hmm. Instant rice package, drinking water, vegetable package. Okay, so I guess this is, this water is for over here. So this one's going to use like, like a, tap water. So I'll be right back and we'll see how this turns out. Okay, we're back. Got the water up to the fill line. And oh, I probably need scissors. So I'll be right back again. <laughs> All right. First the rice. Stick that open. The drinking water. It's just water, so we can just clip the corner and we'll just pour it out. Give that a stir. Oh wow, it's already. Sorry, I think it's already absorbing the water a bit. Okay, 
This is the last bit. I don't know what this is. I think this is probably the mushroom and the cognac. Okay, uh, let's try it. I don't think this is water though, so it might be a bit hard to get out with just one hand. If I do this again in the future, I need something to like hold on to the camera. <laughs> That's definitely ingredients. Some kind. I didn't think it'd be red. I guess because of the label, I thought it would be like yellowish. It smells really good though. It smells like really, really good. I don't know how to describe it. It kind of smells... It kind of smells like... Like a cafeteria pizza. But not exactly. That's just the thing it reminds me most of. Oh, right. We actually have to put in the heating pack on the bottom now. Okay, this next part is going to be hard to do with just one hand, so I'm just going to do it all two-handed. We'll cut back after it's done. Okay, let's put the heating pad inside the bottom now. And then we put in the food. And then we put on the lid. And if everything turns good, and it doesn't explode or anything, we will be fine. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh my. Okay, well something is definitely happening. <laughs> I don't know how long this is supposed to cook though. It said, um, hmm, let's see. Wait to enjoy. Oh. For 15 minutes, okay. Okay, that, that might be a while. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep you in suspense for 15 minutes. So we're going to finish this recording and I'll get back to you uh, after the 15 minutes is done. Okay, see you. Can you see that smoke? Like coming, oil smoke, steam coming up? My gosh, can you hear that? Is it boiling like crazy in there? And it smells really good. I'm so hungry. Okay, actually it like stopped steaming and stuff and bubbling like right when the 15 minutes was up. So I guess you don't actually need a timer. You just, you just pour the water, put the packet in, put the food on top, put the lid on, and then just wait until the, until the steaming stops. Okay, that's uh... Let's take a look at what we got. Kind of nervous. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, this looks really good. And also very hot. <laughs> the rice has been nicely cooked and stained with that sauce. I'm gonna give it gonna give it a try. Hmm. It's actually really good by itself already. But it does come with a sauce. I don't know if it needs the sauce though, because it actually tastes really good already. It's like um, it's like a Sichuan pepper corn sort of taste. 
like this little bit of numbingness. Okay, let's try it with the sauce. I'm going to kick myself in the butt if this sauce is like extremely spicy. And I just ruined the entire bowl for myself. He says, the rice is definitely cooked. I was worried that because the rice was uncooked inside, that it wouldn't cook all the way. This actually cooked very nicely. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Especially with the sauce. I thought that the sauce would be sweet for some reason, but it's not. It's like, um... It's like a um, slightly salting and savory sort of sauce. Hmm. So yeah, I would buy this again. It's really good. I cannot pronounce that. Zihai Guo. I guess I can't pronounce things very well. But it's really good. This is the mushroom and vegan cognac clay pot in self-heating pot. It's really nice. It like it's like numbing my mouth a bit because of the Sichuan peppercorn. I think it has. But yeah, it tastes like good mushrooms, and has chewy cognac in it. If you can get it at your Asian supermarket, I would give it at least one try because it tastes pretty good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to finish this off. Bye, everyone.